All right, seniors, for 3.3 mastery check of the Philip Holloway article, you are now going to write a paragraph, a one paragraph, about one issue that is going on in the juvenile justice system. And you are going to use text number one to cite evidence at least twice in APA format, okay? So you are not writing a summary of the article, but you are picking up one essential point that the author makes. You're writing a paragraph and you're using the text to support it, okay? You are gonna do this on the research paper that you have already started above the references. So let me walk you through how to do that. So here is my sample paper. I am starting on page one with my references. I have my reference, my rhetorical presses, reference two, and the little summary. So what I am going to do, I make sure my cursor is on references. I click insert. I go all the way down to where it says break and page break. If you like learning shortcut keys, you can push um, command and enter on your screen and it or on your keyboard and it will also insert a page break okay or you can just go again insert break page break and what that does is it makes your um line that you are on on a fresh new page which is good because you always want your references to start at the top of a brand new page so i'm going to come up here to the very top i'm going to make sure that my font is all normal so i'm going to make sure it's unbolded i'm going to make sure that it's on the left hand side and now i can begin writing my paragraph so i might start with saying something as simple as one issue around sending juveniles to adult prison One issue around sending juveniles to adult prison is that they are far more vulnerable in adult prison instead of being held in juvenile facilities, period. Okay, oops, my hanging indent is wrong. So I'm gonna go format, I'm gonna go align, I'm going to go indentation options, change this to zero, change that to none. Okay, so your indentation should be like normal. Now I can go back and fix that. Okay. Um, okay, so I have like a topic sentence. One issue is that they are vulnerable in adult prison. Philip Holloway. First time you reference an author, you always want to reference them by first and last name. So Philip Holloway. Now, because I'm going to use this as a citation, I'm going to put the year in parentheses, 2015. Okay, so I have his name and his citation. That's what's included in the, in the parenthetical citations for in-text. Okay, so Philip Holloway, and then I'm going to explain who he is. Um who worked, actually, now I'm gonna start quoting from line 20. So who worked in and around the criminal justice system for about 28 years. Okay, so I'm giving his ethos. I am explaining why he's credible source. If he wasn't a credible source, if he was just some random writer, I probably wouldn't even reference his name. But he has some credibility here. So I'm gonna say Philip Holloway, who worked in and around criminal justice system for about 20 years, supports this notion that juveniles are more vulnerable because they are. And now I am going to quote from paragraph 17. They are five times more likely to be raped or otherwise sexually assaulted. OK, 
okay? So I have actually two quotes in here. So this is kind of unique. Now I'm gonna do my parenthetical citation. So my first passage right here came from paragraph 20. So I'm gonna do P-A-R-A -A period and then 20. I'm then I'm gonna put a semicolon because I have another quote. The second quote comes from P-A-R-A -A 17. Close parenthetical and period. Okay, so start out with a topic sentence, pull some evidence from the text, and then explain it. This is most likely due to the fact they are smaller and easier to manipulate by adult predators. They may be uh, confined with. Okay, so I'm just giving a little explanation. Now I may pull another quote. There's a lot that's in paragraph 17 and 18. Um, there's other stuff that I might also want to bring in about the brain and them being more vulnerable, something like that. So again, you want to have two citations. If I were just to copy a regular sentence, um, I can say he also claims that except for blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to copy the whole quote, but let's say that I did. Now I want to insert the citation for this. Watch what I do. I go tools and citations and I pull up this little box. I'm using Holloway. So I have my cursor here. I click cite and it does it automatically for me. Now all I have to do is change this number to P-A-R-A -A, and the number that I am using and voila. So that's really the cool benefit of using this citation because it will cite it for you. You just have to go back in and add the thing. So because I said he, I do need to keep Holloway. However, if I did Holloway here, I can take this out. I should actually also go like this. Holloway 2015 also claims blah, 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 blah. And then I could just do this. So you either reference this author and the year in the sentence, or you put them at the end of the sentence like that. Okay. So again, one nice solid paragraph, two citations from Philip Holloway, and then you are going to turn it into your 3.3 .3 mastery check. And we are grading you on writing. So please make sure that you Go over and you do spell check, you do grammar, maybe even you copy and paste it to Grammarly to get some editing or tweaking advice. There, that's not cheating by doing that. Using ChatGPT to write this paragraph, that is cheating. Plus it won't cite the article. So use Grammarly, use tool spell check um, before you turn in because we are grading for writing.